Well, good morning, Miss Tilly. You're looking mighty shiny this morning. Would you like to come with me? Show these people what we're doing. Good morning, everybody. It's another day. We're back out here. We're going to get some work done. Take you around here a second. Well, good morning, Miss Leblo. Yeah. You're a good girl. Don't jump on me. Oh, your claws are sharp. All right. Look at this. All oh, them weeds are gone. Got all this stuff picked up, put in little piles. I'm going to have to go around later and pick all those up. Uh, there's only like two days a year in Arkansas you can burn. Yeah, and today is definitely not one of them. Uh, and I've got piles everywhere. Let's go take a look. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to come pick up some more of this stuff. There's my manure pile right there. All this is cut down. I got to drag a bunch of this out in here. I haven't seen these gnomes. I think they just got the idea and left. Yeah, or they hibernate. I don't know. But as you can see, all this I cut along the fence. I just got to simply pull it out of here. I'm running out of places to put this stuff. And uh, there's some more cleanup here. I still got to deal with that tree. I don't think I'm going to get to that today. I'm going to show you what I might want. And I did cut this oak tree down. Got most of that cut up. That needs to be dealt with. And I cut this other dead oak tree down. It's laying right here. Still need to cut that up. But right now, man, I got two piles. Two huge piles. And I can't burn because it's too windy. I see a lot of new people move here and they're burning any any day of the year. You can't do that in a national forest. You know, right now it's it's wet, but you don't want to, you don't even want to take that chance. I guess I'm probably a little more scared because I've had all this burn up before, so I know what that's like. It ain't a joke. And that went on for a week. So we got most of this all in here picked up. Excuse the wind if it's windy. Now I just got to pull this down. I bought me some rope. We're going to see if we can kind of pull it this way and get it down. Well, like I said, I'm not going to do that today. Uh, the garden, I'm not doing a big garden this year. And I'm not doing it there. Sorry for the wind. I'm going to get rid of all these containers. I've got two. I'm going to make two raised beds. And I'm putting them down there. And I'm going to get to that pretty soon. I can't keep that tarp on that mower no matter what in this state. But I need to get a bunch of that gravel and bring it in here. Lay it all in here. I'm going to put just maybe two raised beds, maybe some smaller pots. This way I can build a little greenhouse over it. And we get another one of them summers like last year. I can cover it up with some shade. So, but the plan today is to get some more of this cut cut up. It's like every year, this time of year, all I'm doing is picking up limbs and branches and cleaning up. And I've got to reduce that because I don't want to be doing that in the future. I've got to get the trees healthy and get rid of some of these pines and cedars. So that's what we're going to do today is just kind of, well, you'll see. Watch the video. You'll see. We're going to do some work. Let's get busy. Ow! Alright, I'm going to start in here and get a lot of this picked up. Work my way around to the fence line and get a lot of that cleared out. Uh, if you hang around at the end of the video, we're going to see some puppies. Yep, yeah, it's their eighth day. And they're doing well. Uh... This is just overwhelming every year. I got to get it done, man. But every year it's getting better. Because this used to just be nothing but woods. And I'm hoping that I take enough out, I'll start, I'm going to throw some, you know, grass will take over. Like it did over in here. That's all grass now. That used to be solid woods. Just like on the other side of the property. But keep at it. Keep at it. Uh... If you if you piss something up off enough, 
it won't grow back and that's my theory so and this used to just all be solid privet trees everything else all right man i'm gonna get going we got the saw ready let's go all right got most of this cleared out that little stuff i'm not gonna worry about in here uh, a lot of people might ask why do i even care about why am i bothering with this because i spent six months cutting all these woods down six months every day almost uh weather permitting i don't want this growing back and as you can see through here there's rocks everywhere and i've been picking them up year after year but you know it's like they grow rock rock everywhere look over here guys i did not put that there makes me wonder it, it looks like somebody attempted to clear it one time and gave up so what we're gonna do now chainsaws dollar and butter knife i'm gonna come over and work this fence line where i've already cut uh drag some more stuff out i i really can't add too much more to these burn piles but uh i may have to start another one but i want to get all this cleared before the creepy crawlies come out rattlesnakes all that you don't want to be digging in here grabbing that stuff uh during snake season trust me but it's looking better it's looking better and uh this is the time of year to do it all right let me get back to it sharpen this up uh i was out there working i kept hearing waldo doing what he does woo, woo. but he sounded like he was indoors all muffled so i came up and looked he was in the dog apartment which is next to the screen patio where the puppies are so i looked in the screen patio and that little black and white one he was out of the tent over there by the door i don't know what he was telling waldo but uh i put him back in there already getting out guys and they're only eight days old so let me sharpen this up do a little more work and then we're gonna go see those babies they're nursing right now so I don't want to bother them so a little, little time pass and we'll go see what they're doing all right I got the chainsaw sharpened we're gonna get in here and get the rest of this out of here this is the last of the woods man and of course she's gonna start barking and uh, yeah that pine tree taking it out you can see how close it is to these big ones 
not doing that today also that cedar tree i may may knock that down today i don't know but uh, they're not healthy and just a few more to go drag these out and all this will be clear uh, i'll try to get a picture of what this looked like before i don't know if i'm gonna find one i, I probably got some in a couple months ago video or whatever but a lot of this stuff is just thorny briar man this stuff's hard to deal with and i got some old stumps that are probably rotten the nice thing about these pines and cedars after a few years you can just kick them down yeah. all right i'm gonna get busy on the rest of this then we'll go have some lunch and then we might go take a look at some puppy dogs it's about noon so I say we go in there and eat go back and finish it up Waldo what was that baby telling you or was you teaching them something because I don't really want don't want you teaching I don't want you teaching them anything that's why you're in a separate room they'll be peeing in bowls and everything else you hear me what did that baby tell you he said he'd Said he didn't, that you're a bad influence. Yeah. All right, guys, we got the UPS came and we got the puppy food for when they're a little older. And there's also some puppy teething sticks. And that is a gift from Julie Bango. Thank you very much. That will come in handy. But then I wanted to really show you this. I got all these stray dogs that are showing up and they're eating Tilly's food. I got something to deal with them. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. No, it's not for you, Tilly. We'll see how that works, man. Non lethal, but they ain't gonna like it. All right, we're gonna look at some puppies. Tilly, or Millie, there's you some food. Now, I just shot a clip. Millie and Libby were together. And all of a sudden, Libby jumped on her. That is why she is on the cable. A lot of people ask me why she's not with other dogs. That is why. I've explained this many times, but yell, you know, still in the comments, why well, I don't like a dog on a cable. She's on a cable because she's a special dog. And not in a good way. You know, you got to know how to handle a dog like that. 
I hear you out there, Millie. All right, let's look at some babies. I'm gonna get in this chair right here. Let's pluck them out one at a time. Millie, can I look at some babies? Oh, and they're sleeping. Let's get them little babies. All right. Let's do, we got this little box. We're gonna put your babies in this box one at a time. But I wanna see what they are. You was asleep. And then this little guy. Let's see what we got here. And I don't have my glasses. We got a little girl. Little girl right there. Let's put you in this box so I don't confuse you with someone else. Look at that big dude. We got a little boy here. So we got a girl and a boy. Let me get this camera better. Got a girl and a boy. Okay, girl and a boy. You got a white little nose, kind of. Put you in there with sister. You got one of each. Oh, you're a big porky one. Look at you with your white nose. And you are a. Let me look at your junk. You're a girl. We got another girl. Girl boy, girl. Get that little box there. I want to know what you are, Mr. Troublemaker. I bet you're a boy. This is the one everybody likes because he's different. Or she is different. Any names for this one, guys? I'm going to let you, I'm going to let all you guys name these dogs. We'll vote on it. So today we're going to name this one. We're going to name one each video. Look at this guy. Or girl. Alright, so we got what? I done lost track. I'll have to watch the video. If we got three girls. Here's the runt. Look at this little guy. He's got a lot of... You are little compared to the others. And you're a little... It's a little, another little girl. Yeah, I think right now we're only at one boy, ain't we? I don't know, guys. You know my memory. All right, I'm going to put you back in here. I'm going to grab this dude. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Or, guys, another girl. We got mostly girls. That's why you guys are so stinky. Because you're little girls. You don't have the big floppies yet. But I don't know. He doesn't care, or she doesn't care who holds her. Do, 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 do. Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? All right, let's put your babies back. Right, let me move you guys. You can watch me put them back. puppies. Let's look at them one more time. They are so soft and shiny. Well, you're just a regular movie star. Yeah. And Millie, or, yeah, Millie, she is very good with me handling her puppies. She's not he doesn't have a care. Tell <laughs> you'll get to see him soon enough. And the biggest one. You are the biggest. Are you? <laughs> You're the boy. Of course he's the biggest. The boy. And I think I'm gonna name you. You're Willie. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Willie. Okay, yeah. let's go back in here with sisters. I'm gonna let zip you guys up. No way. We can put your movie out. Yeah, let me cover you back up. Mama's eating, mama's coming. We got y'all cleaned out yesterday. I'm gonna go out and get you some sunshine, Millie. Go out and get you some sunshine. I'll watch the babies. Whew. All right, guys. I, I'd probably. I don't know if there was two boys or one. You tell me. I'll watch the video, I guess, when I edit. I'll know. 
But we, I thought we had more boys than that. One boy. That's a good thing, actually. I don't know. I don't think it matters. So, I have to have these puppies for three months. Because I can't get them spay and neutered. They have to be spay and neutered before they go on the transport. I didn't know that. I, I didn't remember. So, three months. Oh, they're going to be a handful. And if I spay and neuter the animals, it's $200 a piece. But when the rescue does it, it's like 50. So they're gonna pay for that. I already donated uh, 300 to the rescue. It's got that covered. Uh, th that was a donation that you guys donated to me. So I appreciate that. So that's covered. We just gotta get them to three months old and I gotta make some modifications in here because they're gonna be everywhere. They're gonna be chewing on stuff. And uh, whoo. It's going to be an interesting three months because I don't got the energy for puppies, but I'm going to have to. We'll get them raised. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Happy trails. Oh, and again, I appreciate everybody who has donated to this. Got pretty much everything I need. Uh, I am going to go purchase a playpen because these guys are probably going to be pretty big. Somewhere where I can take them out, take it outside, and they can be out in the sun. Uh, and I don't want them running everywhere all the time. So they're going to get plenty of exercise. And uh, oh well. All right, man. Happy trails.